Well, we'll start with the new arrival, Dom Telford through the door. Um, I know it's been a tricky window in terms of getting players in, not just for yourselves, but for every club pretty much. But you've got Dom in. What does he bring to the squad? Um, competition to start with. Um, he's been and he's been on the gaffer's radar for a little while now. He's just, just glad he's got over the line, really. Um, in time for Saturday, which was good. Blessing disguise the the midweek game uh, being off, but obviously the knock on effect with that was been that we had the two suspensions that carry forward. But he's going to bring competition to the the top end of the pitch, and um, yeah, just can't wait to see him uh, with us really. And a bit of know how how to get out of this league uh, with a couple of promotions on his CV. Yeah, he's been in you know he's been in a in a good side you know in Plymouth. Over the years, he's always been, you know, knocking on a door with promotion. I know he had the, um, you know, the relegation from League One, but he, he, he's done it. You know, he has got out of this league and that's the, you know, that's the type of player that we want here. Um, and yeah, we just just want him to probably um, be that little, maybe that lucky omen that we need and put, you know, we need we need the ball in the net. And that's a, it's the hardest thing to do in football, isn't it? And it's, it's, uh, that's why they paid the most money. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Apart from yourself and Flinny, of course, Wayne. Oh, don't um, class, listen, don't class me in the same bracket <laughs> as that. Um, Mike was saying, you know, that it has been hard. It has been frustrating with the window. I think it was eight out in total with all the lone boys going back. Six in now. Any more on the horizon? I mean, managers always want more, but is there is there concrete plans for a couple, one or two more? I... I generally it it can go either way. I you know you always. I think I overheard someone say yesterday it's it's unpredictable. You know this window it seems a little bit and I think it was Jose Mourinho. You wait you know you could it could be unexpected that one could just pop up last minute that um, they become available. It's like a domino effect really. Some teams maybe are waiting on other signings and then before someone goes out the door, um, it, it, it's a. I'm not. It's a minefield, isn't it? Sometimes it's it can it can be some go your way. It's just it's just we got to be ready to take someone if he's available. And that's I'm not I'm not not being horrible, but Newport and uh, at the top of the food chain, are they? No, it makes it harder. Um, let's let's paint a worst case scenario then, and nothing new comes through between now and, and Monday night. Is what you've got good enough to achieve your aims? Yeah, definitely. We've been. You know, we've been in the top three almost most of the season and it's only probably through the, the volume of games that the, and then lack of games that have been called off that we've we fell down the the league a little bit. But, you know, if we win our game in hand, we go top. Um, you know, when these games in hand are going to be at home and fundamentally it might not, you know, it seems like it's not great at the moment, but you've got to look at the bigger picture you know, we we are tough to beat at home without a shadow of a doubt. We're picking up points more than we have done away last year, uh, this year than we did last year. Um, we still carried that same form on at home, um, despite the pitch. So we, you know, it's looking. You know, we're, we're on track. I sit simple as that. You you don't. I said this when I was at Crawley. You don't get given anything out in. Any trophies in bad blips, good blips, doesn't matter. You know, we we're, we know what we got in here is good enough. We've proved that most of the season. Got to keep everybody fit now because of the volume of games coming up. And it, it's, you know, footballers are sort of they're tough characters we got here and they're, they're ready. They're ready for it. And then that's why they work hard all every day in pre season to, to be able to cope with scenarios like this coming up in the next couple of months. You touched upon it, you know, the, the 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 number of games being called off has skewed the league table in some ways. As you say, you've dropped down to fifth. Um, first time out of the promotion, automatic promotion places since September. And yet it's not a true reflection. And I was looking at past points at this stage of the season. You're, as, you're more points uh, totaled than any point under yourself and, and, and Mike Flynn so far. 
is that the message you're drilling home to the players? You haven't had to lift them up to go, don't look at the table. You shouldn't be looking at the table anyway. What you're doing is right. Yeah, we uh, I, I, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm very much I'm the type of person and a character that we can only, we can, I can only evaluate the game that we've just had, which we do very well here. And we prepare as best we can. And I know that that's very good here as well for the next one. Um, so the group have had that, had that ingrained in them for a long time. So anything thinking beyond that is, is, is rare here. I, I might give them maybe a scenario that they've got three games in, in seven days. And in, so the, the focus may be on that. So it may, that may be that the message being that that may be a rotation, a couple of players, who knows? But it's mentally preparing them, and we can only can only you know cover the the game that's just gone. And we, like I said, I think we do that well here um, to learn, and you know, and it's a chance for us to reflect on what we can improve on. But then we take that into the next game, hopefully. And that's how it's been. That's how it's been here. It's never been any different. So um, I, I I believe it. Well, we believe that that works well here, and that's what's what we're continuing to do. Yeah. Go into the next game, of course, looking to avoid, uh, I think it's eight without a win. No one's panicking by any stretch because you you know yourself, it doesn't tell the full story sometimes. What? How would you describe that run? Concerning is probably not the right one. Frustrating more than anything? Yeah, a little bit frustrating. You know, we should have possibly had a couple of wins on the, you know, on, on, on the back of that. You know, I'm going, it, it's, it feels like a while ago, but we haven't played, you know, at home, and, and when you go away, it's just it's tough. It's tough in this league. Um, we've had a couple of referee moments that have gone against us. Um, you know, you can say that they're leveling out. Maybe now we've had a few that went for us earlier in the season, but you know, we 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 got to adapt. Well, I, I can't control what the referee does, but I don't, yeah, frustrating that we haven't got the you know. I think the points that we should have. Deserved, um, but that's football, isn't it? Um, a lot of teams have all come to us, um, you know, and from now on, and you know, we've done a lot of the, you know, the away trips as well. We've got another tough one coming up this weekend. Um, but you know, I'd, I'd like to see that the, you know, the the sun could be shining soon, and um, everything that we've worked hard so far to get where we are will come, will come to a. Um, to come back and be good for us, I, I, I would say. I, Let's I, hope this. You, you, you know I mean, you go on about blips and stuff like that. Uh, that's that's your lot. The main must. I, like I said, I don't, I don't look on that. I look at the one that we just played in and the one that we just we're going to try and beat at the weekend. That's that's been that's been my focus, and I know that's been the um, the, the gaffers and the players as well. Uh, we'll we'll stick with this weekend then and looking forward to, to Harrogate they've not got a great home record one win there all, all season as you said it doesn't really make a, a world of difference does it in this division and especially with the weather and everything what are Harrogate going to how are they going to pose a threat to you How how? what do you need to do to get the, the much needed win um, we need to defend well um, they've got now they're typical, just a, a four-four-two. They're, they're quite regimental in what they do, but they got hard-working players. He, so, you know, Simon's done a, you know, a great job there, and that's 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 all credit to him. Um, you know, they've had a couple of knock-on effects with, you know, injuries, um, suspensions. Now, you know, starting to creep up, like you know, like it has done. It's affected a lot of teams, but he he's one of them that he will get in focus for. Um, the game coming up, I know they had the defeat in midweek. It was close at Tramir, so it's been, it, it'd be looking to bounce back. And, you know, we're, we're looking to go there and win. It's got to be, uh, it's not win at all costs. It's not one of them type of games. We've got to see it as it, play it as it pans out. But, you know, we, we've got to come back, back to Newport with something. That's for, that's a, that's a given. Uh, you mentioned injuries and suspensions. You said earlier that the, the, the cancel games mean you still got a few of those yourself. Any fitness worries ahead of the weekend? Um, no, don't think so. Only um, 
only Kevin Ellison will be the one that's the only one that's going to be out. I think uh, he's, more, he's more. Finally, Wayne, for me, um, we've had snow, we've had rain. Has that affected your preparation in any way? The weather, the good old South Wales oh. weather. <laughs> no, I've lived, I've, I've lived here and been here for a long time. The weather hasn't changed. It's always bad. <laughs> so, yeah, bring it on. We'll, we'll be used to that out there. Good man. Thanks very much for your time, Wayne. Best of luck. You're welcome. Bye. All right, go next. Hey, it's Beth from ITV. You right? Sorry, I thought that was it. Hey, no, you didn't get away that easily. <laughs> Um, yeah. Just one, <laughs> just one question for me, really. I, I mean, it sounds like they're having a great time out there, but on a serious note, you know, there is a lot going on um, at the moment with COVID. You know, people do have families. I'm just checking that everyone's, you know, morale and how everyone's finding it. Because although football continues mentally, it's still people have families and friends, don't they? Um, not everybody has friends. <laughs> I probably ain't got that many, so mine's all right. Um, my 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 bubble's quite good. Uh, listen, as for the as for us, that that's been more um, more relevant this year. That you know you call it a bubble, and that's probably been the what we've had here for a long time. That that team spirit and that where everyone knows each other really well. When you come into the group, it's a tough group, but when you when you come into it, they'll all. They'll all look after you. They'll all protect you, that kind of thing. And, you know, a lot of the families all, I'll say, all used to sort of um, jail well outside the outside of football. Um, we had a baby boom not long ago. So um, that they've always been quite close-knit. The effects of that is that obviously you can't, you know, get get out and, and, and see friends and family. I... I would don't know. It's going to be one of them that you, we may not know what effect it's had on them until the end of the season. But so far, so good. They've been the players have just been really professional, and, and I would imagine that sometimes the, the stuff going on around the world might might have helped them a little bit just to focus on life again in football and get a, you know some players have played really well for us this year. Um, because I'm not saying because there's been no fans, but just because of maybe that that pressure's a bit off them and um, family and friends always coming to watch might might not cope with doing all that. But now that now that pressure's gone, it, it's they might be able to um, to flourish a little bit more for us and in the way that they play. But listen, it, it, we all want to get you know the world to get back to normal. But for us here, that that bubble's stayed. Stay very, very true, really, when we've all just tried to help each other along as best we can. Um, whether yeah. you're struggling or even whether you're doing well. We've got, we got people in here that are doing really well that help others um, in, in, in different things that they do. You know, we have Mark O'Brien that's here um, around us. You know, and what he's been through has been un unbelievable. But, you know, it's the best play for him because that's where he wants to be. He wants to be in around the lads. He wants to be... He wants. He don't want to be stuck at home, you know, in in, in a room on his own where he's got no friends. And so, you know, it, it's do, it's doing good as well. It's that's the main thing that, despite the pressures that are here, um, we, you know, we want to, we we do look at that that mental you know, that mental side. It is tough, especially and, with the, you know the environment that we're in. Yeah, and I'm just I'm, I'm guessing you know when p new players come in, you know normally they probably go out you know, and, you know, to coffee or whatever, you know, you're just keeping an extra eye on them because, you know, some of them are moving quite far away, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we do. Um, it's, it's quite, it's quite easier for us now. You can kind of, you, you know, years ago, you, you kind of didn't know where players were going, you know, but now you, you, you're under, I'm not saying house arrest, but you pretty much are. So, you, you know, you're doing it on social media. It's known. You do anything, you step out of the street, there's a, pardon the pun, but there's, you know, there's people that will um, let you know that you're doing something wrong. And, and, that, and that's, that's the society now that we live in, isn't it? But, you know, we, we've been able to keep up, we've been able to keep monitoring them, you know, a hell of a lot better. Um, and maybe that, like I said before, maybe that's just how players focus a little bit better than, than they normally would have done if, if 
you know, the Christmas parties, the, you know, that if you're not playing, that might creep in that you could go, right, oh, I'm going to go and visit the family and travel, travel and drive and, you know, even drink or whatever with family. It's, it, that's, that's kind of stopped. So it, it, it has, has helped in certain ways. Yeah, that's a really interesting point. Thank you very much. Listen, good luck on the weekend. Thank you. Hi, Wayne. In terms of getting hold of Mike, has it been harder if you get hold of him on the phone this week with him being on the phone to agents all the time? No, no. No, if he... I, I don't know. We just got one of them unique relationships, I suppose. I, if he don't answer my phone call and I don't answer his, we, we ain't going to... We ain't going to send the search party out, you know? Yeah. Um, pretty he's working much out. To he's, it. He, he, yeah, he's, he's brilliant at that. Honestly, you can... and. Don't underestimate, um, you know, that side of the job that he does. He's, he, he's, he's got that down to a T. Mm. He is very, very good at it. And that's why he, he grasps, you know, and, that, and that's, you know, fundamentally it's, you know, it's, it's recruitment that's, it's very, you know, unbelievably important. So um, he, he, he does that, he does that well. And that's... That's why he's paid the big bucks, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm not. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. You could, could could help out a bit with you, can he? <laughs> yeah, give you give you a bit more. But um, in terms of him, he, he wanted a striker. He got that with Dom. He's he's brought in a lot of midfielders. Is is he still working at maybe a bit more defensive cover? Is that something he's looking at? Or yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. Um, obviously, losing Coops was um, was not ideal. So, you know, that was, obviously, Dave's done well to step in. Um, but, yeah, if, when we go when we go away, you know, with a three, then mm. one of them gets injured. We're kind of, um, we're kind of bare bones, really. We're, you know, we're starting to, I would say, put a round peg in a square hole then. And that's not, it's not you know, you can get away with it for a couple of games, maybe, but not, not long term. So yeah, I, I I know that that's been an area that he's been trying to get um, to get added in. Just hopefully, you know, we've only got a cup. Obviously, we've got two days, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and I presumably as well, uh, Ryan Haynes has, has covered things like that because it's if, if something goes wrong now, it, you 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 have to, aren't you? That's, you've got what, you've got what you've got. So it's um, yeah, it's contingency planning as much as anything else. Or... Yeah, you look like the web. I think we've got three, three or four weeks where we haven't got two games in a week, you know. And so that Tuesday, Saturday scenario is coming up practically every week for us now. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be tough on the players to play week in, week out. But like I said before, it's a challenge. They 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 do they do enjoy it. Um, with with the wing back role, that's a bit different, you know, like the likes of Sheppy. And, and and Ryan, it's a tough graph that we ask them to do because because of the volume in, in what we you know, what we want them to do. And yeah, we we've not been able to give them that that bit of protection. So there's there's been there's been certain lulls that they've had, and you know which is expected. Um, but yeah, giving giving them a bit of cover has been you know it's been on our agenda really. Um, but saying that, they got to be good enough. You know, they got to be coming in good enough to replace. You know, the likes of Liam Shepherd and Ryan Haynes who have been, you know, predominantly, you know, very good for us. So it's just, you know, you have a body, but it's got to have the quality as well. Um, and it's got to fit in what we do. Um, Harrogate, they were, they were very well drilled when they came to Rodney Parade. That, and that's, <laughs> nobody will be complacent about them, will it? Because, because of how they played even down to 10 men after, I don't know, half an hour or something like that. It was yeah. just a tough old game. Yeah, it will be. It's um different proposition as well now on their on their in their patch. Um I think that you know it's quite a tight little and obviously there's no fans, but you know, it's quite a tight little ground. It's an, um I'm not saying it is non league, I suppose, but you know, they they've done really well to try and obviously done with the pitch this, this year and um it's been a year for they've had to quite they've probably had to adapt and they're starting to play teams now for the second time, so everyone's had a pretty much a good look at them. Um, as well as they were a bit of a surprise to start with. Um, but I don't know what the pitch is going to be like Saturday, but it is, you know, I, I just don't want that to be a bit of a leveller. That, that'd be the, you know, with the weather and, you know, what, what could be coming in. 
just don't want that to be the you know the leveler between the two of us. Um, because I believe we're a, we're a better better team than them. Um, in, in this case of we got to go there and we got to show that, and um, there there be there be a tough nut to crack, but um, you know we we they won't be no different to what you know when we went to the likes of Bradford, Bolton, etc. You know we we've gone to some places and won and won convincingly, so we just got to make sure we get things right um, defensively. You know, the newcomers that might might come in, we've got to make sure that they're ready to go. They understand what they're doing. Um, you know, and then, you know, we, hopefully we can start we can start scoring and um, get back on the winning trail, really. Uh, Brandon Cooper's goal um, from a set piece late against them in the home game. Um, set pieces, is there a bit room for improvement during, of late, it seems? Or yeah. is that harsh? <laughs> no, if, I, if you'd have spoke to me a couple of weeks ago, I would have switched you off. But um, uh, yeah, it's been frustrating that one for me. Um, normally, I can normally tell because opposition managers normally hate us in in that department, and they, and they let you know after the game. They go, "Well, you know, you what you do at court, what you do at set pieces is a struggle." You know, we I've had to I've had to adapt how we defend them, you know, etc. But I've not I've not heard that now for a couple of weeks at least. And it started to um, get me to not not to focus more, but to to realise that oh Dom, you know, and I I know that I know it anyway, but I know that we're, our delivery has not been great. We've had we've had people make runs that shouldn't have been doing, and I'm they're getting in the way of somebody else. I'm I, I, I'm I've had this, I'm, I'm stripping it back down to basics, Chris, if that makes sense. Um, now with them, um, and hopefully that can that can get us back on the, the the track of scoring set plays again. But you know we 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 do we do um, we do well in that department normally. Um, we're brilliant at the other end, of, but it's getting the top end the, you know right now. Um, just giving us that that bit more of an edge to to win a game. Whether if it turns. Um, I'm not saying ugly, but you know it might be tight, and that might be the, you know, the match winner. You know, free kicks, set, you know, set plays like that. Where I think we're, you know, we can do far better in that department. And the amount of times I see everybody out here just taking free kicks and putting them in the top corner, I'm, it comes to a game they don't do it. But that's the art bit. Yeah. Well, you you don't want to be calling people donuts, do you, for missing headers from corners? It's well, uh... that wasn't me. <laughs> no. the, uh, Someone else. Proof, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, how are you enjoying being a voice on iFollow? You, um, uh, you get, uh, can hear you now, is it? Yeah, I'm, I don't know. It's um, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm passionate. I want to. I want to win every game. Um, there's certain games where you know they they need it. They need to see that back in. And me and the gaffer have always done that. And it's just only because it's normally been drowned out by. Yeah. Um, you know our, our our supporters or or uh, you know opposition supporters having a go at us, but you know we we've only ever done it for the good of the team and keep us organised. Um, yeah, and we, you know players need to be motivated, and that's that's the that's a part of football. And, you know you see it on the um, the TV, the Premier League. There's different types of managers and different types of assistants, but. You know, we, we we try and do what works here, and it's not it's not my fault. There's no crowds in there, exactly. and they're, and they're hearing me a little bit more. But um, whether I shout or not, I always say that you know the and with the gaffer, we always say that you know that it's in the detail that what we say that's the most important thing, despite how you say it. And that we've always had that here, but it's the detail that what we say. Um, despite where I've got a frown on my face, because I've even got a frown on my face now and I'm being nice and polite. So it's just the way, it's just the way it is, isn't it? Yeah, even Chris, yeah. is that, you know, he's sat opposite me. He's, he's yeah. he, you know, he craps himself every day. He thinks I'm frowning at him, but I'm not. I'm trying to show him a bit of love and he, <laughs> he don't he don't like it. Uh, what you say is tame compared to the Hazel Terrace anyway. There you go. <laughs> See, I've, in, I've had some uh, good teachers so. behind me, you know. Yeah, so all good. Brilliant stuff. Hope it goes. Hope it goes well tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers, Hi, Wayne. Just one from me, mate. Oh, yeah. um, 
just wondering what the the next 48 hours looks like for, for, for people like us who are on the outside what does it look like for, for a coaching staff when you've got to prepare for a game and try and do business in the transfer market um, got to go massively just prepare for the team that you're playing against um, which we you know which we've done that will continue today obviously we're training in a bit and then um, obviously we're travelling up to Harrogate this afternoon so we'll be on the bus on the M4 by 12.30 um, bring your own lunch and then a bit of uh, obviously the, you know the bit of travel up there which will take five hours maybe um, and then hotel pretty much you know down tools and then their own time and then it's pretty much game ready day then with team meetings um, team walk pre-match dinner and then game obviously and then we travel back hopefully with the three points and then then we're going to hit the snowstorm and then we'll be stuck in the motorway for five hours. <laughs> That'll be it, my next 48 hours, probably, or I won't be able to get my car out. <laughs> is, is, is Mike working on transfers during that whole time? Is he on the phone on the bus, or is it... Yeah. Is it, is it, yeah. yeah. That, that's... Um, it, 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 it dip in and out, really, of, you know, dealing with the players, dealing with the ones that are here, dealing with ones that agents, you know, managers, etc. signings, Ben Lucy... Um, that kind of things, and then, um, and then obviously all the way up there as well, really, because there's still you know a couple of days. But yeah, it's the, the focus is still we got to we got to get the players focused for Saturday, and that'd be that's most important at the moment. Brilliant, thanks, Wayne.